we are at the Evergreen Speedway for yet another LCQ. This track can fit 32, I mean, excuse me, 36 trucks. But if we add all of them together, we'll have to have 37 spots, and there's only 36. So the final three drivers in points that are full-time drivers will compete for the final two spots. The 28 of Jack Decker, who stalled at Portland and lost a shot at being in the main event, will be leading us to the green star beside him, is Richard Torres. Sebastian Torres, who won the last LCQ at Portland, finished well in the points, I mean in the race, where he is now no longer in the bottom three. So, the final three in points. Jack Decker, Richard Torres, and Josh Barker are all competing for two spots. Whoever finishes in third will be placed 36th in the final rundown. And here's the command. Drivers, start your engines! This will be the sixth race of the season at Evergreen, and in five of them, we have to have LCQs, which is very annoying. It'll be 12 laps around this track that NASCAR does not go to, which I think it was, it's been torn down. I could be wrong. Jack Decker looking for redemption. Richard Torres trying to turn his season around. Josh Barker, same as... Same as him. This track is fun to watch, you know, the real simulations. I've had big wrecks here. I've had little wrecks. I've had first-time winners like Kevin Harvick. So, how will this track handle this league? Probably not very well. Because turn four is always the trouble turn right there. Pace truck is in. And we are racing at Evergreen in the LCQ. Jack Decker leads him into turn one. Into turn two, down the back stretch. Into turn three, into turn four. Decker goes way wide, not good. Oh. And the two truck leads a lap. It will not count towards his lap total. And Jack Decker loses second. So that's the bubble spot, 83. Richard Torres, he will advance. And Jack Decker falls further away as Josh Barker leads into the lap. Richard Torres. The Coffee Critic truck looking to make the Evergreen race. Oh, he almost hit the wall. Remember, you do not have to win if you're Richard Torres. All you have to do is play second. So, Jack Decker is now is now in trouble. Sorry, I had to drink something. Probably not the way he wants his season to go, being in every LCQ there is. But sometimes that's what you have to do. I mean, you know, you got to put every driver in the track that they raced at, and you can't fill all the spots. There's not enough room. Whoa, Richard Torres goes way wide. That's going to allow Jack Decker to close in. I bet Josh Barker is wishing that this was the main race and he could get a win because he desperately wants to get out of the bottom three because it seems like every track we go to, there's not enough spots and the final three have to race for it. And we got a problem with 83. Richard Torres is way behind. He's got damage to his truck. I don't know if he got spun out or... Oh, Jack Decker's got a lot of damage to the left side of his, excuse me, right side of his truck. And Josh Barker is just calmly driving away. So, drivers who finish first and second will be the 34th and 35th final starters. Well, maybe not final starters, but 
the final drivers in the field. And right now, Richard Torres is not looking good for him. We'll have to go back and see what happened to him. Unless the 28 or a 2 blows up, Richard Torres will not race in the main event. Josh Barker driving his pink Ultra Wheels Ford owned by Jim Smith and Ultra Motorsports. This will be his first win in an LCQ, I believe. Goes wide. Oh, he's pressing his truck too hard. You don't need to be doing that. I mean, because there's Jack Decker. He's only three seconds behind. And Richard Torres, he's way behind. So This will be a quick little LCQ because one more lap to race will be over. And Richard Torres, he'll be out. And Jack Decker will be in. White flag, one lap to go. Josh Barker leads him down. The back stretch for the final time. End of turn three, end of turn four. Josh Barker will win the LCQ at Evergreen. And Jack Decker advances. And any second now. There's Richard Torres. So let's take a look and see what happened to the 83. So what originally happened was Richard Torres running the high line. And Jack Decker comes up the track. Richard hits the wall. Jack Decker slams him. Jack Decker keeps on going. He hits the outside wall again. So there's a full 360, but there is no caution. And Richard Torres would not be able to recover, and Jack Decker would finally advance to the main show. Well, I'll take you to the results now. So here are your race results. Josh Barker finally gets himself a win in an LCQ, and he will advance to the main show. Second is Jack Decker. Finally, he will advance to the main show as well. Richard Torres he fell behind, was never able to recover. So Richard Torres will be placed 36th in the final rundown. That is it for the LCQ. We will see you for the main show at Evergreen.